I'm Katie Raycart with Morningstar. I'm here with Steve Weimer of Fidelity Growth Company. He's Morningstar's Domestic Stock Fund Manager of the Year. Steve, congratulations, and thanks for being here. Thanks, Katie. Glad to be here. So after such a strong run for equities the past few years, and especially in 2017, how are you thinking about the portfolio heading in 2018? Well, the economy seems to be strong in the U.S. and perhaps picking up some steam. And the international economies, for, for a change, are very strong all around the globe. Mm -hmm. And so it, it looks fundamentally very strong. Uh, stock valuations are a little higher than they used to be. But uh, the fundamentals are strong. Where, where the market goes, uh, we had a strong market last year. We're very strong year to date. But with some of the indexes up high single digits already, we don't expect that to continue. Usually we get some pullbacks along the way, and I'm sure we'll have some this year. Mm -hmm. Are, do you expect to see some tailwinds from tax reform? I think tax reform is very positive for our economy. We're going to see probably more investment from, from the companies that are out there. They're clearly bringing more down to the bottom line, and we'll see how they spend it. But additionally, we're also seeing foreign companies step up their investment in the United States where their tax rates have gone down low. And with a weakening dollar, things in the United States look a little bit more attractive than they used to, to for them, too. Mm -hmm. Biotech's been a big part of the portfolio throughout your career in an area where you've had a lot of success. So how are you thinking about that part of the portfolio and any particular names that you're yeah. excited about now? Yeah, so, so we've done well with biotech at, in the fund, and one of the ways that help, helped us do well is taking a, a portfolio approach because there's a lot of risk in this area, even though they're, these companies are innovating, but there's a lot of clinical risk and there's a lot of regulatory risk and even how well competition will do in the marketplace. Uh, uh, or how that stock will do in the marketplace. But so what we do is we balance that risk out over time because these stocks can have some ups and downs as they try to move their products forward. Mm -hmm. And Al Nylum, I know, was a top contributor last year, but that hasn't always had a smooth path while yeah. you've owned it. Yeah, so it's it's not an overnight success, but they, uh, they're on the brink of launching their first drug in 2018, and it's a company we think has a nice pipeline behind it. So uh, I now am, was a strong contributor last year, and hopefully it'll be a strong contributor in the years ahead. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, Steve, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm Katie Reichart with Morningstar.